Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining us. I'm Kyle Bruckman. I'm the oboist in Splinter Reeds. <laughs> what's called a reed quintet, the other instruments being clarinet, saxophone, bass clarinet, and bassoon, which has become a standard ensemble configuration really only within the past few decades. Uh, our favorite thing to do together as an ensemble is to work together with composers. We've been having a wonderful time working together with a lot of you, with some of your classmates, to bring to life a series of wildly creative new compositions. As a complement to that project, we wanted to offer this program showcasing some of the fruits of our earlier collaborations. Two of the four pieces you're about to see were custom tailored specifically for the five of us, and they all benefit from our direct contact and friendship with their creators. This is also a sampling of some of the ways that we've managed to stay active remotely during quarantine, exploring modes that we didn't think of or couldn't do before when we used to all be in the same room together. We strongly recommend, if you can, using headphones or connecting to the best sound system you've got available, because especially during the second half of the program, there are going to be some really immersive electronic frequencies that laptop or phone or tablet speakers just simply won't do justice to. Thanks again, and we hope you enjoy. Hi, my name is Jeff Anderley, and I'm the bass clarinetist of Splinter Reeds. The first piece on our program is called Letters to a Friend by composer Teresa Wong. Teresa lives in Oakland and is a composer, improviser, and cellist, and we were really excited to work with her on this piece. In the piece, she takes the text of the poem O Pulsar by Augusto de Campos, a Brazilian poet, and uh, transcribes the words into Morse code, and we re-perform them um, as a letter to a friend of Teresa's who passed away. The piece was premiered in 2017, and this performance is from the Switchboard Music Festival, uh, also in 2017. We hope you enjoy it.
Hi, my name is David Begahopt. I'm the saxophonist in Splinter Reeds. Really excited to introduce this next piece on the program. It's called Line and Length by the composer Matthew Shlomowitz. Matthew is an Australian composer who lives in London and teaches at the University of Southampton. Um, his music, um, he writes music and also performance pieces. Um, a lot of his pieces have um, interesting dramatic character to them. Um, this piece in particular is one that um, Splinter's been playing almost our entire existence. I think we played in our very first season and have played it ever since then. Um, it's a lot of fun. And we had a, a great time this summer uh, with lockdown and not having normal gigs, trying to figure out projects to do. We've had an idea for a music video for this piece for a very long time. And so we um, finally did that. So um, what you're going to see is a music video that we created um, that goes along with the recording of this piece that is on our second album, Hypothetical Islands. Um, line and length, the program note says something like, this piece is um, made up of lines of varying lengths. <laughs> um, so very simple. Um, these lines often overlap each other different instruments um, keep one line, you know, throughout and then maybe switch it off occasionally. Um, these lines all have their own um, adjectives of what they're supposed to be. So um, instead of something like lively or adagio, the types of expressive markings we often see in music, in uh, this piece the expressive markings are things more like slippery or self-important or um, bipolar, etc. Um, so, 
Uh, I hope you'll enjoy Matthew Schlonowitz's line and length. Thank <laughs> you. 
Kalinkos. I'm the clarinetist of Splinter Reeds, and I just wanted to thank you all for attending our virtual recital. The next work on the program is by composer Yanis Kiriakidis uh, and is entitled Hypothetical Islands. 
Giannis is originally from the island of Cyprus, and he currently resides in the Netherlands, where he is composition professor at the Royal Conservatory of The Hague. Much of his output synthesizes disparate sound sources through the utilization of electronics. In addition, he likes to explore the relationship between music and language. Both of these characteristics are evident in this piece, where the listeners and performers are taken on a journey to 12 remote, uninhabited islands. The names of the islands are encoded in the microtonal melodies that are played, if any of you care to decipher them. The tuning of each is affected by the GPS position. We will encounter a wide array of moods as we island hop. Some places are pastoral getaways, others are nightmarish and isolated, trapped by walls of water. We are glad to have you along with us for this journey.
Hi everyone, my name is Dana Jessen. I am the bassoonist of Splinter Reads, and thanks so much for sticking around through the end of our virtual concert this evening. Um, we just have one more piece left to share with you, and this is by a dear friend of ours named Paula Mathewson. Paula is an incredible composer of electronic and electroacoustic music, and we had the great fortune to work with her a few years ago on the piece that you're about to hear called Antenna Studies. Antenna Studies is a seven movement piece that explores different forms of audio transmission, whether it's cell phone transmission, uh, acoustic instruments, live electronics, or FM radio transmission. And in addition to collaborating with Splinter Reads, uh, Paula also collaborated with a poet named Tang Hui Hu, uh, who wrote original poetry that was based on each movement of the piece. The idea then in combining all of these different elements together uh, is to forge different forms of intimacy as well as agency in listening to and across different spaces and the devices used to bridge them. We hope that you'll enjoy this performance of Paula Mathewson's Antenna Studies.
Thank you. 